Hi, I'm Joy. Back in December 2018, I did a review on a new app for Tesla owners called Stats. This is an iOS only app, by the way. So sorry, Android users, you can exit out of this video now and move on to something else that would be more interesting to you. I noticed that each time I share data about my Model 3 from this app, there are always people asking where to find that info in the official Tesla app. Because it's been over three years since I first shared this app and the developer has added lots of new features and enhancements to it, I thought that now is a good time to do an updated review. This way you can see what this app is all about and understand why this is a must have companion app to the official Tesla app on your iPhone. When you first fire up the app, the first screen gives you a dashboard on your Tesla. You can see the current battery state of charge and the charging limit that you have set. Below this, you can find information on the phantom drain rate for your car. Then the app gives you your current estimated and rated ranges for your car. So you have an idea on any battery degradation that might be occurring. Right below this, it tells you your current driving efficiency and miles per gallon equivalent info for your car. If you scroll down, you can also check on your tire pressure without having to be inside your car. Right now, it's not showing any info because my car has been parked for a while and the sensors are offline. If you tap on that little eye icon, it explains when and how tire pressure data will be displayed in the app. The last section on this page tells you how many miles and kilowatt hours you've added when you last charged your car. The total cost of that charging session along with your average watt hour per mile driving efficiency since that charging session. The second page in the app gives you several graphs about your Tesla that the official app doesn't tell you. The first section shows the history of your recent charging sessions. You can view your daily, weekly, or monthly charging history. You can also toggle between added miles, cost of charging session, how much kilowatt hours you added to the battery, and how much you might have saved compared to pumping gas. The second section shows you the actual driving efficiency of your vehicle and the trend with respect to the odometer reading on your car. You can also view the miles per gallon equivalent and trend from your driving history. Scrolling down, this section displays how much you've driven on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. You can also tap on the little up arrow icon on the right and export your trip info into a CSV file. This is very useful if you use your Tesla for business purpose and would need to get mileage reimbursement or for tax write-offs. The next graph on this page shows you how fast your car was charging at your last charging station in relation to the battery capacity. Because I supercharge most of the time, my graph spikes up really quickly when I first plug in the charger. And then supercharging speed gradually slows down as my battery gets fuller. If you're interested in learning about what charging behavior looks like for different types of charging, you can check out the video I am linking on the screen to learn more. The graph below is the one I share online the most that makes people ask about which app I got the data from. This graph shows the battery health by odometer. You can see that when I first got my Model 3 in 2018, the official EPA rated range was 310 miles. Tesla did a range unlock via a software update when I hit 10,000 miles that supposedly added an additional 15 EPA rated miles, but that didn't stay long. As you can see, my rated range went back down. 
However, I'm happy to see that after almost four years of ownership, my battery remains super healthy with over 300 rated miles still on a full charge. This next section is actually not included in the app and I paid an additional one-time fee to unlock this feature at the time of video publication. This graph uses AI to show the distribution of the maximum rated range of other cars similar to my Model 3 and marks my maximum rated range on the graph for comparison. As I mentioned just a moment ago, I still have a little over 300 miles of rated range out of my 2018 Model 3, and apparently this is better than 70% of other Model 3 with similar mileage usage so far. The last section on this page shows any phantom drain your car may have had. Again, you can view by range or miles lost, duration of the drain and draining rate. When you tap on each of these bars, not only will it display the actual data value, but it will also show you the location of where the phantom drain occurred. Speaking of phantom drain, the stats app does not pull from your Tesla all the time. It only connects to your car when you fire up the app, just like your Tesla will be asleep until you open the Tesla app on your phone. According to the app developer, the amount of energy it uses to connect to your Tesla is equivalent to a few seconds of AC blasting. The concern of this app draining my battery in the background was the first and the most important question I clarified from the developer before I agreed to try this app. After three years of usage, I can confirm that Stats app has no noticeable drain on my Tesla when I use it. The third page of the app allows you to do some comparisons on your particular model of Tesla against other Stats app users with the same model or compare your Tesla against everyone across the board. For me, I only care about how Joy Mobile is doing against other Model 3s, so that's the filter I have it on. The first graph shows you how your driving efficiency is compared with other users. Mine is better than 95% of other Model 3 drivers out there, which is pretty good. The next graph shows your phantom drain rate compared with other stats app users. The third graph on this page tracks which software version your Tesla is on and other software updates installed on other Teslas out there. The app can also send you notifications on when a new update has been detected and installed on the Tesla. So you are in the know. The last graph on this page displays the daily average driving efficiency across all Stats app users. It's interesting how you can see big dips on efficiency among users when the weather starts to get cold and how efficiency goes back up during summer months. The fourth menu in the app allows you to control your Tesla remotely, just like the official Tesla app. You can turn on or off the AC, set temperature, open the trunk, lock or unlock the car, turn on and off sentry mode, or remote start the car. The gear icon in the app takes you to additional features and settings that you can take advantage of. If you run into issues with this app, just tap on the support option and you can send a message directly to the app developer who is extremely responsive. If you scroll down on this page under smart features, you can further customize and automate your Tesla to heat up or cool down your cabin at a certain time each day, do smart battery prep before you drive, enable smart sentry based on locations and set smart charging schedules. Under tools, you can set up Siri shortcuts using voice commands on your iPhone or 
Apple Watch to control your car. I use these Siri shortcuts all the time on my watch when I don't have my iPhone with me. These shortcuts make my life so much easier. Below tools, you can enter your home charging rate, supercharging rate, and cost of gas in your area for the app to calculate your gas savings I have shown earlier in the video. Because I don't have home charging, I simply entered the current peak supercharging rate in the Los Angeles area for both home and supercharging rates. Under notifications, you can enable different notifications from your car. In this section, I want to highlight the car maintenance notifications that you will find super useful. The Stats app can help you track when you need to rotate your tires, when it is time to change your air filters, when to test the brake fluid. As you can see, I am due for this, so I should make an appointment and get this done soon. And when you should check your AC. Lastly, under the miscellaneous settings, you can customize the appearance of the stats app further and select your preferred display units in the app. The very last menu of this app lists different resources from the Tesla community. If you scroll to the bottom, there is Tesla roadside assistance if you cannot find this info in your car. So this is a quick flyover of the Stats app. As you can see, if I had gone into each individual feature and setting, this video would be much, much longer. The Stats app is not free. The current subscription fee is $5 a month or $50 per year. It does come with a seven day free trial that you can cancel if you don't like it. If you want to use this app for more than two years, like I have, I recommend that you do a one-time only purchase of $110 that will unlock all the features for a lifetime. And the app will continue to enhance and add new features. I hope this video has helped you to understand the value and power of this app and the insights it can give you about your Tesla. I highly recommend that all Tesla owners get this app to complement the official Tesla app, unlocking more functions to control and automate your Tesla. Please leave your questions or comments below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.